baby. He finna wear George. Ain't nothing wrong with George. He better not have nothing to say about George. <laughs> But I do want to tell y'all this, and I'm only going to touch on it briefly because honestly, I really don't have much information to give y'all. What you doing? Where you at? Oh, you complain. Don't say that. Sipping wine. Heard about my past. Things I used to do. The games I used to play. The girls I didn't last. I know what's on your mind. You think I'm doing wrong. Can I say what is real? You are the only one that tried me. Me talking crazy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shataria, but I go by Shay, and welcome to Shady Shay. So, y'all, today is Cinco de Mayo, and I am off to a late start. It is currently 10.53 at night, and I'm just not getting out the house. I really had no intentions on doing anything today. Honestly, I just wanted to be real lazy. I went to and get some tacos and some, uh, dang, what is that corn called? I can't think of what it's actually called, but it's the corn, the sour cream, the cheese. I don't forget what all this hot chips. Anyway, I went to go get that corn today and I ate it and I went to sleep, baby. I was tired. So I really had no intentions on doing much, but then my siblings called my sister's calling and it was like, let's get out and go to, what's this place called? Ojo's Locos. Um, I actually came here on my birthday um, last year and it was it was a vibe. So they closed in, at midnight. So we're just gonna go in here for about an hour and chill. And then I think they wanna go to a club after this. That's where they might lose me at. Because I gotta go to work in the morning. I don't know, they, they might lose me at this little club part, but I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna um, come in here and drink, drink a margarita. Yeah, let go. They didn't cut the TVs off. They basically saying you don't have to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. We got a busy weekend this weekend. Um, it's raining right now. It's gonna be raining tomorrow, but Saturday is my daughter's birthday, and what she don't know is she's having a um, pool party. It's not gonna be like a big party because I've only invited like a handful of people, and the handful of people are family, not no friends or anything. Because I just didn't feel like all that. I just didn't um so yeah we're doing that this weekend we have to go shopping for her get her a few things so that she can you know feel special on her day and then um let me see her birthday saturday then wednesday and thursday of next week are my other two boys birthday yes all my kids birthday are in the month of may uh, you have a nice day? thank you, thank you. You're my, 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 my. Woo! Tropical Cafe has the best acai on the market so far. Let me show y'all what it look like. Okay, let me tell y'all what's in it. It comes with acai, of course. It comes with strawberries, blueberries, and then it comes with banana, but I opted not to get the bananas and I got extra blueberries. And then it comes with honey, chia seeds, and the white stuff that y'all see is fresh coconut with granola. Baby, I never knew. I never knew that I needed coconut on my acai bowl. Never knew. It makes a world of difference, okay? So I'm about to enjoy this right here. And then I'm about to um, do a hair review because I think I want to review these, these products. Hold on. <clears throat> Not Your Mother's. Have y'all heard of them before? I'm going to review this product because it comes with a defining curl cream and then the freeze control gel. I'm a little nervous about this gel, but you know, we're gonna put them together and see what kind of concoction we can make on this head. Cause 
it's a mess. But in the meantime, in between time, we gon' we gonna eat this. Good morning, y'all. Um, today, hold on, put y'all up a little bit. Today supposed to be day two of my hair, and I don't know if y'all can see, but uh, uh, them products is not. Do y'all see that? I have like, look like I have dandruff all over my head. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but baby, it's so bad. I can't even, first of all, I don't, I don't think I like the product because look how my hair looks. It don't even look like I did my hair. Granted, this is day two hair and it needs some shaping to it, but I don't even want to manipulate it because it's going to cause Mm -mm. Just, nope. that product is a fail I have to finish the review on it later on today when I come home from work so we're gonna put this in a ponytail and we're just gonna have to throw a hat on hold on okay y'all this is this how we gonna have to ooh that look bad y'all see that no we can't uh uh we can't have that out. Oh my God. The thing about it is, is I have to go to work. I have to go to work. And then after work, I need to run to some stores because Shad's birthday is tomorrow and I need to get a few things. I don't have time for this. <laughs> I don't have time for this, so. Why did I just get on Instagram for the first time today and soon, soon as i click on instagram it's a video it's everybody's posting about it it's um surveillance footage of diddy baby kicking the hell out of cassie's ass back in 2016 i want to say that's when they said it happened in a hotel room in los angeles baby when i say kicking her ass i mean just that i'm sure y'all have already seen it by now but just i i really wonder like what the hell be wrong with dudes that like to put their hands on females i really really want to know like what goes on in y'all head because see that's a trigger for me don't put your hands on me i'm not gonna put my hands on you don't put your hands on me and it's a trigger for me because unfortunately when i was younger i used to watch my mom she used to be in a um a domestic violent relationship where her husband used to put his hands on her and baby let me just be the first one to tell you we all be in that house fighting do you hear me because baby don't put your hands on my mama don't put your hands on my mama we gonna throw down and i never really understood why she didn't leave Dang, why didn't i ask her i guess i felt like i couldn't ask her that back then because i was a child and you know a lot of times parents like to say like to say stay in the child's place but now that I'm older, if she was still alive, I would ask her, like, why, what took you so long to leave? Because I would like to believe that if I was in a domestic violence relationship where somebody was beating my ass all the time, I would like to think that I wouldn't stay because I wouldn't want to be hit on. But I just know that that's not the case for most women because a lot of them choose to stay. Maybe fearful of their life, maybe fearful that they will find them and come after them i don't know but it's so sad it's so it's such a trigger for me it's such a trigger for me oh my god um and i just i just wonder like how does cassie move forward from this i know that she remarried and had two beautiful kids and all of that but what was her healing process like is she still healing oh my god by, by all of this being in the media like this is this like reopening up old wounds for her like this is a lot that was a lot to watch that man hit her in the back of her head and kick her and all this drag her and all the stuff that he was doing like that was triggering for me and that has never happened to me and it was triggering so i can only imagine what it was like for her to wake up this morning and see all of that plastered all over the internet like oh my god her kids Although her kids are little, like, they're going to eventually grow up and they're going to see this. Like, it has to be a special place in, in 
down below for for men like that it has to be and you know i ain't gonna lie some women do put their hands on men and you know trigger them to you know feel like they need to defend themselves <sighs> oh that's like a little touchy situation us as women we shouldn't put our hands on men. we shouldn't be putting our hands on um men or anyone for that matter but these dudes they go far baby they will beat the hell out they will beat your ass like you a nigga off the street and you can be the smallest scrunniest thing there is baby and they'll beat you real bad then turn around won't won't do nothing to a man if a man press them in any kind of way how that work all right y'all so we are at burlington child and i'm trying to see if i want to get shy a vest like this do y'all feel like a vest like this oh this come with some gloves i mean what is it called goggles lord i said gloves <clears throat> do y'all feel like a vest like this is safe or a vest like this that has like the arms on the side i'm sure they're both safe but uh i just don't know i think the thing with these type of they i mean this is that this strap right here it goes in between your legs and i want to say she has she had a vest like this of course in a smaller size and i want to say she complained about that part which of course is adjustable but i don't think i don't think she liked that oh lord so i think i'm gonna go with this and just hope for the best and then of course her little theme for her little party is mermaid theme I got her some little mermaid glasses now I'm just trying to figure I mean goggles why do I I didn't call these a glove glasses I don't call it everything but what it is my only thing about this is how's she supposed to see with all them dots all them dots on there because that don't come off that's the actual goggles mm, yeah I don't think we're gonna get these because how the hell is somebody supposed to see let's go find some more goggles I think it's some goggles right here and these are barbie yeah we might go with barbie because at least barbie is clear and tough out yeah i kind of wanted her to match with the mermaid thing but she's just gonna have to be a little tacky with with the barbie Y'all, it's the morning of my baby's birthday. So she's gonna open two gifts. The rest she's gonna open at her party later on today. But I need her to open these two because. Oh, I can see something so cool. What do you see, girl? It's just a box? Yeah. Ooh. The other side. Oh. <gasps> Little things. What? What is that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is that? What else is in there? Another one and a cute little top. Is that a swimsuit? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Okay, so I needed you to open that before we go to the party. And then when we get to the party, you'll open the rest of your gifts, okay? But that's what you're going to wear to the party. Did you like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I have a client today. That I'm waiting on. Let's lock the middle button down. Mm -hmm. I have a client today right before Shaw's party. It's a 10 a.m. client. It's currently 9.55. So I'm about to set up right here. So by the time she gets here, um, I can do her makeup and go.
because baby girl is ready to swim. So let me sit up. This is for you, you, my number one. Spotlight, big stage, 50,000 fans running in a way. Bodyguards, limousines, this is the way I see you in my dreams. Paparazzi flash, 100 pictures all of you. Hanging on my bedroom wall, I'm a kid again, feel like 13. All right, y'all, this is my client. <laughs> She looks so cute. Period. <laughs> okay, you're giving me young Miami. <laughs> Has somebody ever said that before? No. I see it a little bit. Okay, girl. Y'all, why did I come all the way to this party and forgot the battery to my camera in, in my bag? And the bag is at home. I'm too mad. I'm gonna try to get some footage on my phone. So if the quality change, that is why. But my baby is enjoying herself. She's in the pool with her cousins. Her Amy, her granny. She enjoying herself. Okay, so we got fruit trays, like fresh fruit chopped up. So we got watermelon, oranges, kiwi, grapes, all kind of fruit. But my hood, cause it's so hot outside, he put ice on type of, on top of saran wrap to kind of keep it cold. We got, chips we got hot dog buns because we're grilling and links and all that good stuff and then she has her few little presents right there a lot of people isn't here yet the party just started 15 minutes ago 20 minutes ago so still time for people to show up but whew, i'm so glad we're here and this is over with because baby i'm already tired baby you got a lot of ice well, it should all stay cold. I don't. You get in the water. I need to be, uh, yeah, I, I should have brought that. I didn't have room for it. You know what I didn't get? It was cups. Oh, yeah, you got juices. You got juices. But you don't need, need a cup. You need to mix that stuff up. Ain't no ice in the bottom. Oh, shit. Okay. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday. Y'all, graduation is over with. I officially have a parting starting August of this year. Oh, bittersweet. They passed out the. Oh, it has her picture. Now they definitely didn't let me know that that they were taking pictures for caps and cap and gown because I definitely would have had her hair down. But whatever it's cute so it says when i grow up i want to be a police officer you want to be a police officer why you take your thing off your head yes i'm a spot in it okay you have a pre-k diploma oh look at that and you have a certificate of completion of pre-k shy malone oh my baby is growing up y'all we're definitely gonna go pick her up some things today, but right now I have to go to work. So let's go make this money first and then go spend it. 
all right y'all so it's been a few hours um since the last time i picked up picked up the camera y'all i have been a terrible blogger okay baby i don't know what's wrong with me i don't know why i just can't pick up this camera and get the content it's like girl are you crazy i don't i don't know but i do need to fill y'all in on a few things but first let me just tell y'all this we're headed to like Walmart or somewhere to get my baby a graduation gift. I cannot believe that totally slipped me and my husband mind. I didn't think about it until we got to the school and I saw some of the parents had like their daughter's flowers or candy or what, or what have you. But I don't have nothing, nothing at all. So before I go back home, cause I'm just now leaving work. I went to work for a few hours. Now I'm headed back home. Before I go home, I have to go stop and get my baby. Um, something because baby now we gotta we gotta do that um so that was the first thing i want to tell y'all i also want to tell y'all i just left work why my manager get fired i don't even know if i could tell y'all yet i'm just gonna wait to be on the safe side because i don't think nobody from my job follows me on youtube but just to protect me, I'm just not going to say too much about it other than the fact, why my manager get fired? Yeah. Third thing. Y'all, yesterday, yesterday I left. Okay. I got to quit looking at me. So let, let me just start there. Yesterday I left my house to go to Ross to find shot a dress to wear for today's graduation. So, child, I looked a hot ass mess. I had a hat on. Looked a mess looked a hot mess we went to ross um what have you um found the dress i left out of ross i had my airpod in my ear and my airpod disconnected so i'm like why is my it's not dead why is my airpod disconnected realized that i left my damn phone inside of ross on the counter so i go back in looking for the phone find the phone walking out this lady approached me and she was like hey do you do youtube mind you y'all i didn't even have my camera with me because i've been a sucky vlogger and so i was like um yes caught me off guard and she was like i follow you and i was like or she said I'm, i I watch you on youtube that's what she said and y'all when i tell y'all i was shocked like what like i know that sounds so crazy because people um youtubers have subscribers come up to them all the time that's not nothing new however that's very new for me because Although I'm grateful for all 4,100 of you guys, I never in a million years thought that someone would approach me with my numbers. And do that make sense? I might sound crazy. But I feel like I always thought that you have to have like big numbers because that increases your chance of somebody, you know, knowing you or recognizing you. But she recognized me, y'all, and I was so embarrassed i was so shameful because i looked a hot mess i didn't really want to interact with her like i you know would have liked to because i looked a mess <laughs> i looked a hot shitty mess and i had to tell myself quit baby you gonna have to quit going out in public any kind of way because what why are we still doing it at this big age i just thought i was running to get my daughter a dress now i'm so embarrassed um her name is shay and thank you so much for um being subscribed to my channel i'm sorry if our interaction was really weird because that was the first time that ever happened to me so it was a lot going on in my head on top of me looking a hot mess girl i'm crazy okay sorry <laughs> y'all my camera had cut off because of internal heat because baby it's hot as hell here in texas it's hot today and it's probably gonna be uh pouring down raining tomorrow with a little wind chill ain't no telling baby texas do the most but I do want to tell y'all this, and I'm only going to touch on it briefly because, honestly, I really don't have much information to give y'all. But I am going to take y'all along on, um, I don't want to call it a journey because hopefully it's not a journey. Hopefully it's just nothing. But a few days ago, maybe a week ago, I was taking a shower and I felt some lumps in my breast. Um, my well woman exam my physical what have you it wasn't scheduled until july so part of me wanted to just wait until july only because i'm just like so nervous of things like that i don't want the doctor to tell me anything crazy but i know that's not smart <laughs> to wait um so i called my doctor this morning and they moved my appointment up so i do 
go see the doctor um, next week. So we will have more information about this next week. Y'all just keep me in prayer. Um, I'm hoping it's nothing. I'm hoping it's just like some fatty tissue or, you know, something along those lines. Um, nothing crazy. And I'm just trying to think positive about the whole situation because Lord knows I'm hypochondriac. And if I get to thinking about this too much, I'm going to really go crazy in my head. So I'm just trying to just stay calm. I done prayed about it. I already have it in my head. It's nothing. They're just going to tell me it's fatty tissue and not things of that nature. I'm hoping that that's the case. But more than likely, I know my doctor will. I'm pretty sure she's going to have me go get a mammogram, um, which is fine, because please check them. Please make sure that, yeah, it's just fatty tissue um, and nothing else. But, yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. Pray for me, please. Um, yeah. Now, let's head to Walmart so we can find something for shot. All right, y'all, we're here at Walmart, but I wanted to show y'all my phone. Oh, it's kind of working. Hold on. I don't know if y'all can see. But do y'all see that fog on my camera lens? My phone's been sitting on my dashboard for the past, oh, I said about 25 minutes while I was driving. And it's kind of getting the condensation out of the camera lens. That's the problem that I have with my phone. Oh, no. Now it's doing it on the front camera. Because I dropped my phone in the water. So I wonder if I leave my phone sitting up here. If I leave my phone sitting up here, would I be damaging my phone? Because I Googled like how to get water condensation out of your phone. Um, and a lot of people said put it in rice. But baby, I, I done set it in rice for hours. And it's still doing the same thing. And what I'm noticing is that it'll go away, but it'll come back. And I'm really not sure what's causing it to come back because earlier my front my front camera was fine but now i see the condensation on the front camera and it's disappearing on the back camera so i'm wondering if i leave my phone sitting in this on this dashboard while i run in walmart y'all think something happened to my phone like am i messing it up because to me it seemed like the heat is fixing it i don't know but I'm going to prop it up there and I'm going to hope. We're going to pray that when I come back, all the water is out the phone and the phone is like brand new. Because I'm not buying a new phone. I don't give a damn. I'm not buying a new phone. I'm at the graduation section. These are the things that they have. But I think this is more for like maybe high school graduates, college graduates. Not so much someone graduating from pre-K. Um, so it looks like I'm going to have to create a basket for her myself because she's not going to appreciate any of this. Yeah, she's not going to appreciate any of that. So I know she loves bubbles. So we're just going to make her a little basket. I think this this will fit the occasion. Baby, I'm supposed to be here shopping for shop, but my oldest son, he mentioned that he needed some white t-shirts. But my thing about it is, why are underclothes so expensive? Why am I paying $23 for some undershirts? It's not even the main shirt. I feel like underclothes should be maybe $5 for an eight count, a five count maybe. Maybe a dollar shirt. This is ridiculous. Um, child. And these ain't even Fruit of the Loom. Fruit of the Loom make t-shirts. Oh God, I don't even know what kind of shirts to get the boy. Three packs of shirt. Y'all look at this. I don't even know who George is, but I really don't care because he's $16.48. But you only get three shirts for $16? What in the hell? Oh, 
<laughs> Help me. Help me. When I come over here to Fruit of the Loom, yes, Fruit of the Loom does make shirts. They're $21 for six. How many does George only sell three? I know George sells six for oh for sixteen dollars too. Do they got his size? Cause baby, he finna wear George. Ain't nothing wrong with George. He better not have nothing to say about George. It's a size small. Y'all think he gonna say something about George? He better not piss me off. Walmart have it to where you have to do the damn skinning and a bagging of your own. What do y'all do now? Because, baby, don't nobody be in the aisles right there waiting to help you if you need help finding something. What do the Walmart workers do now since they don't have to check us out no more? And I know it's somewhat. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Please don't run me over. I know some Walmarts are completely self-checkout. Like, there's no cash registers at all. In here, this particular Walmart that I usually go to, we have cash registers. I mean, we have people that work the cash registers, but the lines are always closed, so you're forced to do it yourself. So, really, I guess we really don't have it. But, yeah. What's the point? Because I had one little item, baby. I was having a hard time scanning it. I was two, sec two seconds from just blessing my own stuff and just putting it in the bag because hello, it ain't working. If it don't want to scan, that means it just wants to go with me for free. That's the way I view it. Hold on, where's my car? Where's my car? Oh, God. Oh, wait. Maybe it's on to him. Y'all, let's just say a quick prayer that my phone... It's still good. Uh, 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 All right, y'all. Woo, shit is hot. <sighs> okay. I don't even know if y'all can see me. I had to put some of the stuff up here because I got to put her bag together. But first, let's look at the phone. Oh, shit, that's hot. Ooh. Okay. It's kind of, um, I think it, it worked fully on this camera. I mean, I see a little bit. I see a little bit. Oh, Lord, temperature too hot but not so much on this side. Okay, it's going back up there. Let me face it that way. Let's see if that makes a difference. All right, y'all, I got y'all sitting on my camera mount, and let me find out this is all I need all along. Okay, no, because my, my, my camera getting hot. I just wanted to show y'all everything that I got, but I guess y'all will see when I go home, when we get home, because the camera finna cut off. Let's get them. All right, y'all, I just got home and she's asleep. Mm. Mm. Oh, no, she didn't go. Hey, girl. How you feel? You don't know? Well, Mama got you a graduation gift for graduating pre-K. Do you want to open it? You do? Oh. Or do you want to finish taking your nap? Open it. You want to open it? Okay, come on. I know what this is. Huh? I know what this is. It's an Elsa kite. You got an Elsa kite? 
Girl, let me, oh, you throw it on the ground, okay. What else? What are those? Oh, you don't like those? I do. You do? Uh-huh. You ain't acting like it. What is that? Brownies. You got your favorite brownies? Y'all, she love baking brownies. Like, she can cook them by herself. She don't need my help. Oh, that was your headband. Ignore that headband that was in there. What else? Oh, what are those? Circles. Oh, I'm not liking your little app. You, you sleepy still? Okay. Mm -hmm. I understand. Do you like all your stuff that I got you? I got all of your favorites. Oh, you can wear those pajamas tomorrow to school for pajama day. How do you feel about... Hmm. I'm assuming she didn't like it. You do like it? Oh, I can't tell. 